Thank you for watching Notorious Bassing. Please like and subscribe if you like this video and our content. This video has active target recordings from a trip to Clear Lake in California shot in the middle of February 2021. We mainly fish for bass, although we do fish for other species such as crappie. And crappie make is a great species to learn to use active target because this time of the year they're in deep clear water, they school up fairly closely, and they reflect a very bright image as you'll see in this footage. We have the gain turned up fairly high, which allows us to see a lot of detail, which is good, although it does put some noise onto the screen, which you'll see and I apologize for. The recording is done on the unit itself, so unfortunately we don't see some of the information on the screen, such as depth or distance, but all footage in this video is from the depth set to 20 feet. The active sonar is looking 60 feet out and everything is using forward facing sonar. We're looking for a schooling fish and right now we're moving the trolling motor back and forth. You can see we located a school of fish. They are about 30 feet away, three to 10 feet deep. And you could see how you could see the individual fish in the school. We're casting to the school of fish. We're trying to keep our bait above it. If you look, you could see the lure, the crappie jig barely moving. Look for the arrow. It'll get near the school of fish and I'll pull a couple of them away, but unfortunately they don't bite. One chased after it. Let's look at that one more time, this time zoomed in. And I apologize for the resolution. It's low resolution video. There's the lure. It's getting towards that front of the school. It goes a little lower and then it pulls away a few fish. After we pulled that fish away, you could see it there closer to the boat on the left and that fish is gonna rejoin the school. The active target is really useful because not only could you tell how far away the fish are, but you have an idea where they're sitting in the water column. Here you can see we're coming up on a school of fish. They are about probably four to maybe 10 feet deep. And in this case, we cast it into them, but we didn't get bit and we were a little deep. You could see the lure coming up. It came up from underneath the fish as we reeled it in and we were definitely well under where the fish were. So the way we fished is we used the active target to find fish and we would use a trolling motor moving it back and forth to find schools of fish. Here you can see a quite a large one and we would try to get an idea if they're moving left to right, right to left towards us, away from us and then we would fish them. We also would run across some schools of fish that were just stationary, like these here you could see. They would just stay in one spot and we were able to catch some fish off of them. This shows what happens when you accidentally run over some fish. You can see we've identified a school. The school happened to be moving towards us. And you can see they're fairly high in the water column. But as they start to get closer to the boat, you can see them start to go a little deeper and then they'll, they'll disperse. So this is a good example of showing what happens when you actually run over some fish. Even though we were fishing very small crappie jigs, we were occasionally able to see our jig on the active target. Here you, you could see my lure just coming into view. Look at the arrow and some fish underneath it. You could see a, a couple of them chasing after it and you could see me jigging it around. We didn't actually hook that fish, but it was pretty cool to see that on the active target.
So you got to see quite a bit of footage of us using the active target, which we think is a game changer. Here's a few um, shots of us fishing. You could see us looking for fish, trying to locate them with the active target. And once we would locate them, then we would cast them. And we pretty much did this throughout the day, catching quite a few fish. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe.